Okay, for number five, uh, it says divide and write in standard form. So standard form is the A plus BI form. So each of these top and bottom ones individually are written in standard form, and this is how you want to write your answer. So this we can't leave in that form because the whole thing is not uh, standard form. So we need to get rid of the I that's on the bottom of the fraction. To do that, for these kind of problems, you're always going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom one. And we do the, the bottom one because with the plus and minus we set up here with these opposite signs, that's going to allow us to cancel out the I because we're going to end up getting an I squared when we multiply that, that together. We'll just be able to get a numerical answer on the bottom. So don't worry about the top part. You're always multiplying by the opposite sign or the conjugate of the bottom. So we're going to multiply across the top, across the bottom. So let's do the bottom one first. If you do 3 times 3, 9. Then you have minus 15 plus 15, which will cancel. And then you get minus 25i squared. Now for the top one, 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. The inside ones will do, that's plus 3i. Then you do an i and a negative 5i will give you negative 5i squared. So one of the uh, problems we did earlier talked about different powers of i. And on that list, one of, them, one of them I told you about was this i squared here on the end. So i squared is equal to negative 1. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and put negative 1 in for i on the top and the bottom. I'm also going to... Uh, add the like terms that I see here, the negative 20i and the 3i I'll add together. So when I do that, I get 12, negative 20 plus 3 is going to give you negative 17i. And then you get negative 5 times i squared, which we said is supposed to be negative 1. On the bottom, we have 9 minus 25. Also, there's a negative uh, i squared down there that's going to turn into a negative 1. So, we can now uh, simplify this, these numbers. I have 12, this will be plus 5, so that's going to be 17, so I get 17 minus 17i on the top. On the bottom I get 9 plus 25, which is 34. Now, this one right here, you don't want to leave it in this form. This is not standard form. Standard form, you have to get the two separate terms, the i, the i term separately, and then the numerical term separately. So what I want to do is one more step. I want to divide everything top and bottom by 34 and that would put it into standard form. Now this just so happens you can reduce it. Uh, you may or may not be able to reduce it on the actual test. If it can't be reduced then you leave your answer in that form. If it can be reduced you do want to take it down that extra step. So for this uh, that's a one half. So when I simplify 17 over 34 for each, I get 1 half minus 1 half i. This is in standard form because you got the, this is your a and then this is your b part that comes second. Doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, that would still be written in standard form.